this intent right off the bat. Who's going to advance to the next level in this bracket, this heads up tournament? So let me flip over to the full screen here. I'm going to show you guys this next print. This one is called Cirque Plate. And here is what the print looks like. I'm going to ask our competitors to please grab a screen capture of that. If you guys want to follow along with, be sure to grab a screen capture of this. Uh, let me flip over to our competitors here. And three, two, one, go. Here we go. Here we go. And I'm going to just update this current part so that we can all see the correct current part there. There we go. That's what they're building. This plate. A lot of these models have symmetry, uh, so that's always something good to look for when somebody gives you a print. Oh, I like the way that this this. Uh, I know you don't, you don't see this yet, Dan. You'll see it in a second. But the 3D part on the overlay is actually uh, transparent. You can see through the holes, and you can see uh, Rodrigo's interface through the holes in the part. Oh, nice. That's <laughs> it's kind of cool. cool. Yeah. Shout out to SolidWorks for having saved that. I was going to say, you, you must have saved that out to a PNG with transparency. You know That's it. Awesome. You know yeah. it, my man. You know it, man. Um, right off the bat here, we, Rodrigo's already got a profile sketch going on. Uh, probably going to do a mirror there. Yep. He's he's cruising. Ed's trying to figure out what to do with this first shape here. Yep. It's always, you know, whenever you have a part that's symmetric, it's always that kind of decision. Should I just plow through it and just do it all? Or should I just do half of it and then mirror yep. it? It's, at what uh, point do you use a mirror like that's your big question when right. do i mirror right we were we were watching x shape toby and we saw that an x shape you can turn mirror on and off as needed yes which is, which is pretty awesome yes i love that i love um, that kind of stuff but here we got to decide when to use it it's like a superpower but you got to decide when to use it right right and it looks like rodrigo's opting to do the chamfers right in the sketch that's yeah. a that's a What's... little uh i don't know if i would do that personally <laughs> whatever you gotta do to get it done fast you know yeah i don't know i think i might in, in in terms of speed just quick and dirty get it done yep yep i see rodrigo ran into that issue I've, we've all run into that issue too where you try to pick a line and you get the midpoint by accident yep. so yeah it's, it's brutal it's, it's patty got through yeah yep seven one eight seven was the correct answer in the last one patty in the chat here too so ed's ed's coming through yeah I'm, try, I'm trying to keep an eye on the chat but i'm really trying to focus on the stars of the show today who are the competitors so um you know if i if i if you really need my attention in the chat just tag me at too tall toby uh shout out to eric Beatty, who's giving me a shout out for those graphics thank you very much eric appreciate it eric also says with great mirroring comes great responsibility oh i like that <laughs> oh toby see this is where i think yeah i i Rodrigo's right here with this feature, but if Ed can get that middle rib part done, I mean, these guys are right at the right at the line here. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And this is, you know, this is kind of interesting too because this is one of these parts that's in IPS instead of Imperial or instead of Metric, uh, and uh, you know that that definitely throws a lot of people off because I mean, most of the world doesn't really use inches, right? Most of the world's just straight millimeters or uh, or Metric in general. Well, so, like 3167 said, uh, silly Americans. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, indeed. I'm, I'm on the edge of my seat with this one, man. Third round. They're both right at the same. They both end up at man. the same feature, yeah. putting this hole through this face. And you have these additional little, uh, little extra faces on the outsides. And you can see Rodrigo, you know, this is this spot where not having, like, Having not mirrored it, now he's got to do some math. He's got to figure out, you did know, you what, what was he did the there, though? He, he, he did a, a, a little quick equation in the in the box there. I love just, it. Yeah, that's awesome. Love it. Yeah. Lennart says metric for the win. Oh, yeah. What's up, Lennart? And also, we got Mike Van Rogen here from South Africa for the first time. All right. Thanks a lot, Mike. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate the shout out. And Matthew is here. He says, what did I miss? Matthew, we are at the final of the first round. Uh, neck and neck. These guys have both got one win locked up. You can see up in the top corners, both Rodrigo and Ed both have one win locked up. They're neck and neck on this final print. They're both basically coming in on the final set of features. Who is going to calculate the mass first? Who is here going comes. to be correct? We're right at the finish line here. Yeah, this See, is. But look at look at tight. Ed putting the chamfers on now, Toby. Now, what do you say about that chamfer comment? <laughs> oh huh? wow! Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's getting it's getting serious, huh? 
So I see Rodrigo has answered in the chat. His answer was 0.934. That is the correct answer. Wow. That is going to lock up the win for Rodrigo. So congratulations to Rodrigo. I'm going to give you the animated victory cat as well. You did it. You won. You move on to the next round. So congratulations. That is awesome. And uh, Ed, good game. You were right there. You were right. Look at Ed came in with his answer now as well. 0.934. Got it correct as well. That is the correct answer.